Hello, Hamai Kako. Happy October. That was a spooky one. We almost didn't get online there for a second, but we are here with you. This is live, coming to you from our living room.、Uh, my name is Kumu Kanoi. This is Eames Kalani Akel. Behind the camera, we have Daddy, Uncle Luke, running us. Right to the right to the end. So we made it. We're happy to be here with you today. It is a brand new month, which means new hula and new t shirts. <laughs> Anyhow,、uh, we will be jumping into some new hula. So, welcome to those of you who are new to our channel, those of you who are our old timers. We're glad to see you again. Be sure to let us know in the comments where you have been waiting for us to come live from. And、um, yeah, I think it's time. It's time. Aloha, my welcome back. Now, if you haven't joined us before,、um, let me just explain what we're going to do today. Saturdays are our time to share with our hula ohana around the world the chants, prayers, hula, and basic steps、um, that, that we have to give. And、uh, we've been doing this ever since March of 2020. So you'd think we'd have it down by now, but we're, we're still. <laughs> You know, this is, this is just our, our family putting this all together. We are not professional video, video production, whatevers,、um, but we know hula. So <laughs> I think it is time for us to begin. We have sort of a set of prayers and chants that we will do all the time, and we will hopefully be able to put up the words on the screen for you. Yes, we are. So we're going to start with something that we always do, which is our Hawaii Pono'i, and we usually get our high. Hawaii or our Hawaiian flag. So the Hawaii Pono'i was an anthem originally written as an instrumental piece by Henry Berger. You see him in the picture over there. He's the one on the bottom with the awesome beard. And Henry Berger was the bandmaster for the Royal Hawaiian Band. And now, Royal Hawaiian Band was a pretty good, good gig. It was a full time job, came with housing and salaries and all the benefits. And all they did, all they did, was play music. And so, what a wonderful position to have. Henry Berger was the head of the Royal Hawaiian Band. He came to us from Prussia and he taught the Hawaiians how to have a European style band. So, he wrote the music for this. And a few years later, King David Kalakaua came back and asked if he could write some lyrics to this mele. So, this became our national anthem, Hawaii Pono'i. We sing it today as our state anthem. In any case, however you want to sing it, make sure you ku iluna, stand on up. We have a saying in Hawaiian which is pali ke kua, your back is straight like a corpse. No, straight like a cliff. Yeah, sorry, I'm in the Halloween kind of mood. Back you straight like a cliff. Mahina kealo, your face shines like the moon. Are you ready? Hawaii pono i pa. Hawaii pono i na na i ko mo i kala ni a li i ke a li i. Makua la ni e kame ha me ha e na kawa e pale me ka i he. Verse number two. Havai i po no i na na i na li i na. Verse three. 
for that. So that is our anthem, Hawaii Pono'i. Now, next in our lineup of, of things, we're about to do the Oli Aloha, which is a chant of greeting. But before we do, we usually check in with our live viewers. Hopefully we have a few, even though we were late today. So let me jump on here and oh, oh gosh. Ah, I see quite a few of you on here. Very good. I see Angelica joining us from Germany. By the, by the way, these are all people who are joining us live. So thank you for being with us. Veronica Velasco Mares from Mexico. It's wonderful to see you. Jamie from San Diego. Ah, nice to see both you and Patricia. The sisters are in the house. Norie Aloha no in Japan. It's great to see you. Aloha Linda. Can't wait to be virtually together at our day at Queen Emma. So good to see you. Claire Marie Peterson from Pasadena, California. I used to live there. Julie Shala joining us. Oh, she's all the way in. Shoot, I forget. Julie is in Spain. I, you got to remind me, Julie. Okay, Barbara. Barbara Underwood is in Kailua Kona. We're going to go to your island via Mele again. We're always going to your island. <laughs> I also see Tomoko Sakurai in Adachi. Aloha e Tomoko. Angelique Schmidt from Germany. Rosalinda from Florida. Carol Ann Buckley, nice to see you. Aloha no. I see Ushi Nakenhorst from Germany. Aloha, nice to see you. First time I think that I've seen you live, so great to see you. Ui Lani Koi Lowe. Koi Lowe Lani Meskel in Arizona. Awesome to have you. Well, friends, as you can see, we have people joining us from all around the world. That's why I call this our global hula ohana. We're so thankful for you folks that post about Napuahala. Let people know that you're watching this live or that you're watching something coming up because that's how we keep getting more friends joining us from all around the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing us with your friends. Um, that's what we're here for. We just want to spread the love of hula all around the world. By the way, still waiting for someone in Africa, if anyone can help us. Okay, here is our Oli Aloha. This month, we're actually going to learn a few more verses to Oli Aloha, but today I thought we would spend a little bit of time reminding us what this verse right here stands for. So it was written by Kumu Pilahi Paki. You see her picture right over there. And Kumu Pilahi Paki was a kupuna. She was a manaleo. She spoke Hawaiian. And there was a day that she went before the, um, the government here. She, she went down to the capital, and they were doing something. They wanted to have a hearing about the word aloha. They wanted to make a law about what aloha legally means. And Kumu Pilahipaki was one of the kupuna who gave testimony, and she spelled it out for them. She couldn't have spelled it out any clearer. Her testimony included these five lines, and if you look at the lines, each one of the lines starts with the letter A, L, O, H, A. She said, yeah, dummies, this is what it means. But anyways, <laughs> this is Oli Aloha. And so these are the first five lines. We're actually going to learn there are more lines to this Oli. We will start with these here today. So with love in your hearts, let's do Oli Aloha, greeting one another all around the world. Oli Aloha. Pa. na Hawaii. Lo kahi a kulike, o lu o lu kamana o, ha a ha a ko kulana, a ho nu yala na kila, aloha. That 
that's it. That's it. I think the word I want to point out today is in this line right here. Ha'a ha'a kokulana. Ha'a ha'a means to be humble. And today we feel a little humble because just when we feel like, oh, we got it all down pat. It's like, oh, no, you don't got it. You got to got to wake up a little bit earlier and set things up. So sorry about that. We will do our best to be on time next week. Okie dokie. Next, we have our prayers. For our prayers, we always like to noho ilalo. I think that has something to do with that word ha'a ha'a, to, to lower oneself status, to kind of come down to the earth. My kumu, uh, my kumu hula, one of my main kumu hulas is le momi i maldonado. She's still teaching today, and she would always have us noho, sit down for these set of prayers. And I think it had something to do with that. Okay, shall we do our Hawaiian doxology? Um, we do two verses, and not everybody knows this second verse. Um, of course, the first verse on the top was translated by Hailama Bainamu, also known as Hiram Bingham. He translated from Thomas Ken's version of Praise God from whom all blessings flow. That's why it sounds familiar to you folks around the world. But he translated it into Hawaiian so that the people of Hawaii could understand the prayers and connect with them in the same way that he did. So he has the first verse. And there was one day that over in Hilo, actually, Kumu Haunani Bernardino that you see right here, she was, um, she was hearing this uh, mele and she just loved it so much but it was short boom four lines po so she decided she wanted to write a second verse and spread it all around so that we could sing this song a little longer than one verse um, and also kind of give our thanks from a hawaiian worldview not only from a christian worldview worldview so that's what this one is right here are you ready ho'onani pa O onani ka maku amo ke ke ki me ka uhane no ke aku amo ho o mai ka ipu ko ke. for that you see that word ha, ha ha comes back again in the second verse so very good i'm not gonna let it go we're gonna keep coming back to that word ha, -ha or ha, -ha, ha ha it's gonna come back again you'll see okay we're gonna go on to our next prayer and this one is a little simpler especially for those of you that are new and hawaiian is a little bit fresh to your tongue um this one is done in a call and response style so in hawaiian we call that ka hoa 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 means friend are you my friend He's my son, so he's jury still out if we're friends. Maybe not. More than friends. <laughs> so AKL Kua, I will do one line and then my son and friend, Eames, will repeat it back to me or to you. However, however. Ready? Ekeal kua pa. Ekeal kua. Mahalo no. Mahalo ya oi, Mahalo ya oi, No kei ya la, No kei ya la, Amene, 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 Amene. Thank you. And this prayer says, Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful, beautiful day. And a beautiful day it is. Every week, we take a little bit of time to be thankful for the day. It's kind of our gratitude practice for Saturdays. And one of the ways that we do that is just to look out the window and check out our anila, 
Our anila is our weather. So the question is, pehea ke anila? And that means, how the weather? So, A, Eames, pehea ke anila? Yeah, he, he la o malu malu a malie, he said. And that is just right. There's a little bit of clouds up there. You see, o malu malu means a cloudy day. But it's also a la malie. There's hardly a breeze. It's going to be a sweaty one. and uh, But it, it's a beautiful day here. We are coming to you from Nu'uwanu Valley on the island of Oahu here in the Hawaiian Islands. So we're glad to know where you folks all are from. I did see that Julie reminded me, yes, it's Malaga, Spain. I knew it was Spain, but I had to figure out where in Spain. So thanks, Julie. Um, let us know wherever you are in the world. Pehea Kianila, how is the weather? And if it is daytime, you will answer, He la weather kea. This is a weather day. What choose your weather. Okay, and if it's night, this is a weather day. Yeah, he la anila kea. No, just kidding. If it's nighttime, then you would use the word po, which is nighttime. And there's almost no moon tonight, so it's gonna be a beautiful night to look at the hoku stars. So hopefully, it is a la a po malie, a clear one, so that you can check out the stars tonight. Yeah. Alrighty. We're going to move right along in our set of chants and prayers. The next one that we do is called Ealae. And Ealae literally means, hey, wake up. Uh, and we're not talking to our little brother or sister or our child or our mo'opuna, our grandchild that is sleeping. We're actually talking to the sun. And we're saying, oh, great sun, rise up. Let's start this day. And we kind of describe the path of the rising sun. Okay. Now, we need to do some, some clapping. And maybe it's to rouse the sun from its sleep. We're going to put our hands in a cup shape. That's a upoho. And you're going to clap two times. And then pa'i is going to be a flat hand clap. That's it. Hopefully you can hear the difference between that. It's kind of a lower, hollower sound for the upoho. And then the upa'i. Uh, upa <laughs> the pa'i is like smack. That's it. Okay, so let's get a pattern of two upoho, one pa'i. Ready, go. One more time. E ala e, here we go. E ala e, kala i ka hikina, i ka moana, ka moana honu, pi i ka leva, ka leva nuu, i ka hikina, aya kala. E ala e, hana ho, second time. E ala e, kala i ka hikina, i ka moana, ka moana honu, pi i ka leva. And stop right there. This last time, we usually do it three times. This last time, Eames and I are going to do some descriptive hand motions so that you can kind of get a feel for what it means. Okay, so try it with us. Ready, go. I come on now, come on now, oh, no, pe e calava, calava, no, oh, e kahikina, ayakala, e alai. That's it, that's it. Now, those are not hula motions, if you're wondering. Gosh, this is a strange looking hula. They're looking like they're climbing up a ladder more like a nursery rhyme sort of hand motions that you would teach to a child to go along with this song okay so don't worry if that looked a little bit different different okay we're moving right along with our last prayer of the set not prayer chant of the set this one <coughs> excuse me was written by edith kekuhi kuhi puuoneona likioko hala Kanaka Ole. And it is written specifically for um, being done before you learn about mele. Mele meaning songs, chants, um, poetry in sung form or chanted form. So this mele was written for mele. And so before we dive into our hula class, we do this to kind of open our minds. It's a little bit of a meditation or a mantra that says, 
grant us the knowledge from above concerning the hidden wisdom of songs. Grant, grant, grant us these things. Okay, so let's give it a try. Another one we do three times. Three is the magic number today, I guess. A ho my pa. A ho my ka ike my luna my e o na me a una no e a una mele. A ho my. A ho my. A ho my. A ho my ka ike my luna my e o na me a una no e a una. My brain went someplace else. Did we do it three times or four times? We did it. Three times. Okay. Phew. Good thing. Somebody was paying attention. My gosh. Okay. Now, the next thing that we do in our set is we work with our ipu. So, um, if you don't have an ipu, don't worry. You can use lots of things as a substitute. A lot of people will use like a water bottle because it has a skinny neck and a larger base. So, if you have that, you can grab that. If you have an ipu, great. If you want to just use your hands or use the ipu of your belly. You can do any of those things. Go ahead and grab an ipu. If you're going to use an ipu heke ole or an ipu heke, be sure to grab a pale or a pad to put down on the bottom. Okay, so here we are. No, 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 you can stay right there. Thank you. Okay, so I learned this mele, this mele here, mele ipu heke ole, when I went to Kamehameha Explorations a long, 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 long time ago in the early 90s. And um, this is a song that talks about how to make an ipu. So the first thing you do when you make an ipu is you chop off its head, off with its head. Then you're going to scoop out its guts. And then you're going to sand all of the perfections. No, yeah, you're going to massage the kino, the body. And then there's an extra step is that you'll take it and dip it in the ocean so that it will get some salt water through the flesh so that um, buggies won't like to eat it. Yep. So that's what you're going to do to make this ipu. We're going to do this through two times. Are you ready? Hanawa ika ipu heke ole pa. Hanawa ika ipu heke ole ika ipu Heke ole, hana wau ika ipu heke ole, ika papa hana no eo hana ho, hana ho ika ipu heke ole, ika ipu heke ole, hana wau ika ipu heke ole, ika papa hana no eo. That's it. Very good. Now, that beat that we just did is one of a few um, kind of stock beats that we must need to know. Must need to know. Must need. need to know. The first uh, sort of part of the beat that you need to understand is called the ka eke loloi. Ka eke loloi is just going to be this rattling sound on the side of your ipu or bottle. This one is actually not required, but it's sort of like. You know, not the minimum requirements, but this is the desired effect, is that you have this little bit of flutter. Now, you're going to do that flutter every time you hit the ipu on the pale or the mat. So every time you hit down, you're going to add in that little chakadum. Try that. Yeah, you got it. So now let's get to the real meat and potatoes of our beats, which is the pa. The pa is an u, so the ka eke lo loi plus an u. And then the te is going to be a smack on the side with a cupped hand. That's it. So let's do that paw beat four times. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four. Very good. Now the second beat that you see here is called the kahela. Kahela is a double beat. Utete. Double. double beat. So this is going to go with the ka ekiloloi 
te te. Let's try that four times. Ready, go. One, two, three, and four. That's it. The last beat that you're going to get is called the cool. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. No, it's just the cuckoo. Three beats on the pole. Ooh, 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 te, te. Adding that te, te that we had in the Carhella. Absolutely. Okay. Let's do the cuckoo beat four times. Ready, go. A one, a two, three, and four, and stop right there. Very good. Now, today, later on in our class, we're going to be learning a song called Ayala Opele, and it is based on a chant. We're going to do the modern version of this song, but it's based on a chant. So I wanted to teach you a little bit of the beats, bless you, for how that goes. <laughs> that was right on cue. Ayala Opele is a kahela beat to start. Okay, so it's going to go all kahela. Ayala Opele Ihaveiea. Okay, now in between of the verses, we're gonna get a cool, cool beat. We're gonna go ooh, 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 te, te. Oh, very good. He's learning, huh? Okay, so while I'm chanting, all kahala beats. Then in between, you get one set of ooh, 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 te, te. Okay, good luck. Ready? And here we go. Ayala o pele i have e a ke ha a maila i ma u kele e a. Ayala o pele i have e a ke ha a maila i ma u kele e a. See how that works? So actually, every time you get that u u u te te in the ancient hula, it's kind of like our vamp. Yeah, that's that's our vamp when we do our ancient chants. Vamp. We were wondering where the word vamp came from, yeah, the other day. If you don't, let us know. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for our ipu. Go ahead and put that to the side. Let's go. Oh, feeling old today. <sighs> Feeling young, he says. My goodness. <laughs> All right. So today, as I mentioned, we're starting a brand new hula. And before we jump to the hula itself, I wanted to give you just a little bit of background. So for this hula, we're going to be going to the big island of Hawaii. Let's see what graphic comes up. Yes, that's the one that I want. So now the big island of Hawaii Sometimes people don't like that it's called the Big Island, but it is the biggest island, so, you know, it makes sense. The Big Island of Hawaii is also sometimes known as Moku Keave because Keave was the chief, one of the main chiefs of that island. Um, but the Big Island of Hawaii is so big, it is split up into these Moku, or districts. So we're going to focus today right between the buff and blue districts that we see here. <laughs> Sorry, we just had a we just had a big school spirit day and our colors are buff and blue, yellow and blue, just yesterday. So anyways, I'm still on a buff and blue kick. So you see right here, right next to me, there's a district called Puna. Yeah, Puna, not Punaho, but Puna. And then on the other side, you see a district, the yellow one. That one is called Ka'u. Now, if you focus in between those two districts, right at the border between them, you'll see that there's all kinds of stuff on this map. That is actually the topography of the map, and it kind of comes up to a mountain, and it is actually a volcano, one of the volcanoes that helped to form this island. So I'm going to show you the next map, or someone there. There it is. This is a map that I put together for my keiki. Um, and right there where you see the star action, we have some action happening. Actually, right now, today, there is a eruption, an eruption happening at this volcano. So the volcano is Kilauea, and the crater where all of this action is happening is called Hale Ma'u Ma'u. Yeah, Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater. And so um, I actually jumped on early, early, early this morning, just after midnight, and grabbed one of the most recent images from there. And this is the image that you'll see here. So this is um, from just uh, about 1 o'clock yesterday. So less than 24 hours ago, this is what the crater looked like. And it is starting to fill um, with lava. There was actually a, f a flow there that 
um, happened from about December of 2020 to May of 2021, but then there was a break from June, July, August, most of September, no lava flowed there and there was no um, seismic action or, or volcanic action. But just a few days ago, I believe it was September 27th, it started to go again. So we are going to be honoring that flow and that, um, ex not explosion, but the, the action over on Hawaii Island with our mele, which honors the goddess of lava and fire and, and building of new islands, which is Pele. Okay. Now to go um, sort of back to the, the island map, the first island map that we had, um, there are lots of people, of course, that live on this island. Uh, one of them is watching, Barbara Kailua Kona is, is tuning in. But in ancient times, of course, there were people living here and there were chants being written for this island and for its history. And there were families on the island who were sort of charged with caring for these chants. So the first person that I want to talk about um, is uh, a man named Joseph Ilala Ole. Oh, sorry, we're not quite there yet. Joseph Ilala Ole is a Kumu. There he is. Doesn't he look fabulous with that gigantic lei? Patricia, I think you could make a lei to rival that one right there. Joseph Ilala Ole was actually from the island of Hawaii. Um, he at one point was a police officer in Hilo. Later, he served in the military. And even later in life, he became a kumuhula. I love that. It was like his fallback career after being a police officer. Um, but Joseph Ilala Ole was one of the foremost kumuhula um, that cared for many, many, many chants, some of which um, I have had the pleasure of learning uh, his choreography to songs like Lili Ue, Kavika, Kalakawa, all of these stock hulas. And Ayala Opele, um, it said that he was one of the main keepers of this mele and of this hula. So the text itself is traditional because we don't know exactly who wrote it, but it is mostly thanks to this gentleman right here, this handsome bugger, Joseph Ilala Ole, and for his choreography that he passed down from generation to generation um, that came to me and then inspired our hula for today. So He's the first one that I wanted to talk about and he's, his connection to that place, okay? Now, there's a tradition in hula and in Hawaiian mele called hula kui or mele kui. Mele, of course, means song or chant. Kui can mean to hit, but it can also mean to attach. So mele hula kui or mele kui or hula kui all have to do with taking something old and attaching it to something new. So um, just a couple of weeks ago, we did uh, Lili Ue, Noho Nani Mai, and that was an ancient chant attached to modern music, right? Remember that? So ancient chant, attach it to modern music. That is exactly what we're going to be learning today. We're going to take the ancient chant that was preserved by Joseph Ilala Ole. Later on, many generations later, it was May Lobenstein, another kumuhula who started her, her halau in her, I think, her 80s. Um, but she was the one who turned this into a mele, a more modern song. So instead of the chant that you heard me do, that was Ilala Ole's version. Then Auntie May took it and she did. So she took that ancient chant put a modern melody and a little jazz to it. And the reason she did that was not because, you know, we didn't respect the ancient traditions, but she recognized, and many of our kupuna recognized, that the next generation was losing a little bit of spark. They weren't as interested in learning the ancient chants or the kahiko dances, the hula olapa. And she, th she thought by putting it to this new mele, that is how this text, that is how our stories and our choreography 
would survive into the next generation. So I am thankful for that because I don't know how interested my son is in learning. But I think he's sure going to enjoy the version that we're going to do today. So I hope that you will too. Thank you to Auntie May Lobenstein for setting this fabulous text to an even equally fabulous melody. Whew. Shall we jump in? Too much talking? I'm sorry. I just get so excited about the background and Eames wants to sit on the couch. So, you know, he's like, just keep talking, mom. I don't have to. All right. So this is our hula. Now, if you actually look into the original text, this pauku e kahi, which is verse number one, it actually combines two verses into one. So we're getting a twofer today. Um, the first two lines, that's going to be verse one. Then we get uhi uha mayana ea, kenomea ela ya puna ea, that's verse two. And then Auntie May, she adds on what we call a ho'oho or a refrain. Those last two lines of the chant, I mean the verse, will repeat every single verse. So once you learn those two lines one time, you pretty much know them for the whole song, okay? So, means bursting forth into the heavens. Noke, noke, it's rumbling, it's roaring. This is a really fun one. We're gonna have fun with this. Are you ready? Okay, stand up. Did you go to sleep? Was I talking too long? Let me know in the comments because sometimes I talk too long. Okay, so are you ready? You wanna, you wanna go this way? This side? You wanna stand there? Make up your mind. Okay, all right. So, Ayala Opelei Hawaii, the ancient chant starts um, with the same motion that we're about to do, okay? So here's what I want you to do. Put your left hand across your chest like this and your right hand is gonna go forward. Okay, so your hand is gonna go from the front out to the side front out to the side let's move back a little bit so that they can see our arms fully fully okay oh come this way a little bit okay so left hand is across your chest right hand is going to go forward and side forward and side and forward and side now that's the ancient version it goes like this then your hands go down by your chest i mean not hips your hip level that's it. That's the ancient version. So hand across the chest. Ayala o Pele says, there is Pele, the goddess of fire and lava at Hawaii Island. Now, ke ha'a. Oh, there's that word again. Ha'a, ha'a, ha'a. Remember I was talking about humble, lowering yourself, dropping yourself down. Okay, so that word ha'a also means to bend your knees. So ha'a, bend your knees. Oh, too much. Ku, stand tall. So ku is to stand, ha'a is to bend. Let's bend just slightly in the hips. Ha'a and ku. Ha'a, ku. That's it. So when they say ke ha'a maila, they're not saying she's bending. The word ha'a has yet another meaning. So it means humility. It means to be humble. It means to bow, bend your knees. But it also means to dance. Now, this is not the dancing of humans, mortals. This is the dancing of the gods. So the gods have a special word for the way they dance, meaning Pele and Hi'iaka, all of them. They have a special word for their dance that only they know, their very own TikTok trend, and it's called Ha'a. Okay, so the Ha'a, we're going to do this because this is like the flow of her dancing lava. If you go and watch some of those videos, it really does look like it's dancing, okay? So it's ke ha'a maila i mau kelea. That's it. So that's the ancient version. Let's try one more time. Just the hands. I'm not going to teach you the feet for that. Ready? Go. Ayala o pele i hawaii ea. Ke ha'a maila i mau kelea. And then you usually get your hands dung, 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 on that kuku v in between, okay? So we're going to take that same hand motion and we're going to split it on two sides. So kind of jazz it up a little bit. So left hand across your chest, right hand is going to go from the center. Ayala o pele switch. 
Okay, keha amaila. You're gonna bring your hands. Keha amaila imo That part is the same. Yeah. Okay, left and right. Ready and here we go. Ayala ophele iha vaiye. Keha amaila imo That's it. So it's just kind of like scooping up, pushing down, pushing up, pushing down. Okay, so let's add the feet for this. You're going to turn your left foot out to the side. Your right foot is going to cross in front for one O. Oh, was that too fast? Let's try right foot. Red, turn the left foot out. Ready, set, right foot goes. You want to see that with the Vavai cam? We have a special camera just for that. Maybe we can lose the um, words just for a moment so we can show them. Lose the words. Can we lose the words? Okay. All right. Turning the left foot out. Ready. And here we go. Okay. Good. Back to the main camera. So now, left hand is going to be across your chest. Your left foot is turned out. Your right foot is going to swing it to the side. Ready, set, here we go. Then when we get keha amaila imo kelea. Okay? We're going to just kaholo to the right. Keha amaila imo kelea. Okay? And these feet work. These don't match with the, the ancient version, okay? But this is why it's called hulakui, where we put modern feet with more ancient hands. Okay, let's try it. Ready, set, right hand, right foot, go. Ayala opele i keha amaila imo kelea. Yes, of course. Actually, let's start from a hula to the right. So ready and holo. Da 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 and go. Ayala opele i havaiya keha amaila imo kelea. Very good, very good. Now, when you do your keha amaila, let's already get in the habit. Looking to the right and look to the left yes very good ready to add it to give it from the beginning ready and holo da 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 so it says, there is Pele at Hawaii Island. She's dancing at Maukele. The next part, put your left hand across your chest. The ancient move is going to dig down by your right hand. Like you have a little, what is, what is the digger machine? The backhoe. You have a little backhoe. And you're backhoeing on the right. And then you're going to hands comes up here. Yeah, so it goes down and up. Left hand goes down and up. So you go opposite. Right hand goes first, and the left hand goes. So actually, you're going to do this four times in the ancient. One, two, three, four. And your hands kind of flow, yeah. So, for this one, on the modern one, okay, you're going you're gonna to still do this motion, but you're only going to do one on each side. Okay, and with your foot, you're going to sort of dig in a way, too. You're going to do a kavelu forward on the right foot. Ooh, he, ooh, ha, the left foot. Yeah, let's try it. Right foot. Yes, exactly. Ready? Right foot first goes. Ooh, he, ooh, ha, ma, You want to see that? See that, um, that foot? Oh, yeah, sometimes this kavelu. Yeah, you can go down to the Vavai cam. Sometimes this Kavelu goes forward and back. This one is going to go forward, forward. Okay? So hands on your waist for now. Right foot is going to move forward. Ready? And here we go. Ooh, he, ooh, ha, ma, he, anna, e, a. That's it. Okay? Let's add the ooh, he, ooh, ha hands. Ooh, he, ooh, ha is 
um, kind of like a sound word. Is it onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia. Uhi uha is supposed to sound like swishing or whooshing, swishing and whooshing. If you know the sounds of lava, it is like nothing else. It's rumbling, it's cracking, it's popping, it's all of those things at once. And it's kind of spooky, so perfect for Halloween. Okay, so uhi uha mahiana it's it's chugging along. Okay, so left hand is across your chest. I don't have words today. Ready, right foot, right hand goes. Uhi uha mahiana That's it. Very good. Go from the beginning. Kaholo to the right, it's a ooh, 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 te te, ooh, 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 te te. Ayala o pele i hawaii e hea, ke hea a maila i mau kele e hea, ooh, he, ooh, ha, mai ana e hea. It's a little ooh. Yeah, 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 you want to dig. When we do this, in, I'm, I said I wasn't going to teach you the hands and feet, but in the... um. The Kahiko version, right? You uehe, and you really got to get down there. Uhi, uha, mai na e. We're not going to uehe because I'm over it. But we're going to go with the right foot. We got to really get into it, okay? Okay. Kaholo to the right. Da 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 Uhi uha mai na e very good the next part kenomea ela ya puna kenomea ela says she is devouring everything all the way to puna she's not hungry she's not eating all the food in everyone's <laughs> refrigerators okay kenomea ela this lava flow is chugging along and it is taking everything back yeah it's destroying at the same time that it's creating so hawaiians have this very interesting relationship with pele because yeah she's spooky <laughs> but at the same time she's awesome right so when hawaiians would lose their home to pele it wasn't like oh i lost my home i need to go start a gofundme right it was like what a blessing we have new lands, we have new growth, all of this. So it's a fine line with Pele. You know, let's just say. <laughs> well, right now I think everybody's safe, except for the Vogue, right, Barbara? I know she said it's Voggy Voggy over there. Okay, so this motion that I was doing, ke no mea ela yapuna, you're gonna roll to the right. It kind of looks like waves, you gotta make it more earthy. Ke no mea ela, and all the way to puna. Ia puna ea. Okay? Got it? Yes. Got it. All right. So, ke no mea ela, of course, gonna be kaholo to the right. Here we go. Ke no mea ela, ia puna ea. I'm making up my own melody. Sorry, Auntie me. Okay. Let's go from um, ooh, he, ooh, ha, left hand across your chest. Can you in tell I like to sing this song? Right? Hand, right, foot. Ooh, he, ooh, ha, mahi, anna, ea. Keno, mea, ela, ia, puna, ea. Okay? Okay. O wakai kalani no ke no ke. Oh, no, we better go back to the beginning. Ready and holo, da da dum, bum, 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 aia. Ayala o pele i hawaii i e hea, ke hea a maila i mau kele dig. Uhi uha mahi ana e hea, ke no mea e la i a puna e hea. Yeah, you only get to eat one side and then show us to the way to puna. Good? Yeah. Okay. O wakai kalani no ke no ke. This part says she's bursting forth into the heavens so exactly that's what you're gonna do from right here you're gonna cross your hands at your chest you're gonna make fists and then fireworks <gasps> oh okay. yeah 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 don't hit me please oh my gosh ready and here we go oh okay no okay, okay. it's gonna be 
the sound. Now, I learned the word this week because Uncle Kimo, one of my kumus, he's teaching a similar song to the fifth graders at my school. And he says, this is called kili po'i po'i. It's a type of clap. Remember we had upoho and we had pa'i? Now, kili po'i po'i is somewhere in between. You're going to cross your hands this way. You're not going to let your palms smack each other. You have to leave this little sound, uh, sound bubble in here, and you're going to go like this. Can you hear the difference? I don't know if the microphone is picking. Okay, I'm going to hold it close to my microphone. Upoho sounds like this. Pa'i sounds like this. And kili po'i po'i sounds like this. Do you hear that? Clasp, kind of like a clasp, but you have to leave that air pocket. It's supposed to sound like the bubbles in the lava that are popping. Okay, so you don't have to switch hands. You can keep it the same way, whichever is comfortable to you. So you're gonna go like this. Do you hear that? Pop, pop, not plop, plop. Okay, ready and here we go. Okay, epele, epele. Left hand across your chest, just like ayala o pele, but e pele, two times. Pele. Sorry, your left hand is out, sorry. Right hand is at your chest, left hand is out. E pele, pele. Okay? When you do um, e pele, e pele, e, this is the, the step that is slightly intermediate, but we can, we can handle it. It's called kavelu holo. I know, I know, because we're getting more intermediate in this class. <laughs> Okay, <sighs> I again, he said, I again. Okay, Kavelu Holo, you're, you're gonna go to the left. So your left foot is gonna do the work. Your left foot is gonna go forward and back and forward and back. Oh, sorry, together. It's gonna go forward and back and forward and together. Now the only thing is we're gonna scoot towards the rocking chair while we do it. Ready? And here we go. Forward and back and forward and together. Now this is <laughs> epele, epele. I again. Okay, ready? <laughs> Hands and feet. Ready, set, here we go. Epele, epele. Let's kaholo. Da 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 Dig the hole and ooh he ooh ha my na e a kenome a ela i a no kenome ready go kenome a ela i a puna e now o a kai kalani no keno ke e pele e pele yeah that transition is a little weird no ke no ke then you go right into it. Do you love it? Or are we having too much fun over here? I'm having fun. Okay, ready? Do we have music? We have never tested it today, so we don't know if we have music. Let's see. Good morning, Mama Chan. Nice to see you. Do you hear it? You hear how fast it is? That's why I was singing it. Do you have it? Okay, you want to try it without one more time? Okay, let's take it just a little bit faster and then we'll get to it. A one, two, ready, go. Da 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 da, turn the side and here we go. Ayala o pele i havai i e a ke ha a ma i la i mo ke le e a u hi u ha ma hi na e a ke no me a e la i a puna e a o a ka e kalani no ke no ke e pele e pele e holo to the right two three now start your engines 'cause it's gonna be fast. Aya, aya, aya la o pele i hava i e he a ke ha a ma i la i mau ke le e a uhi uha ma i a na e a ke no me a e la i a puna e a o a kai kalani no ke no ke e pele pele. 
Yay! Good job! Oh, yours again. It does kind of look like a grapevine. Okay. Now, if you're thinking, why in the mm, would you record it that fast? Well, Napalapalai, famous group, Kuana Torres, Napalapalai, recorded this mele on their CD. Same key and everything. I took their tempo. So, don't blame me. Ask them why they recorded it so fast. I want to use their tempo because you folks might want to use their CD. Yeah? Don't use mine. Use theirs. Sounds better. Okay? So that's why it's so fast. Not my fault. It's theirs. Two times this time. By the way, I forgot to tell you. It goes dun 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 Ah yeah, and then it goes right into it. No vamp at the beginning. But we do have a vamp in between. Sorry, I start again. I gotta make a little bit louder for us. Here we go. Ready? Right on the dot. It's 10 o'clock. <sighs> Time to take a break. <laughs> you did a great job today. We're going to finish up with Eames very, very favorite, Hokey Hokey Poi Balls. I'm going to give you a little bit of information as he Poi Balls. So go grab your Poi Balls, maybe a sip of water. Let's do Hokey Hokey Toru. No, just kidding. We're not quite there yet. Okay, got him? All right, here we go. All right, thank you again for joining us for a new month, a new hula. That was verse one of Ayala Opele. We will be coming back with a new verse every single week, and we will finish it this month of October. Today, our halal is participating in the Day at Queen Emma, um, virtual Day at Queen Emma. So be sure to check them out. They have a um, website. So I will try to put it, it's Better Unite Queen Emma something something anyways. I'll try to put it in there. But um, they are going to be sharing mele, hula, all kinds of stuff about Queen Emma, Hanaya Kamalama, the Queen Emma Summer Palace, and our halal, including this guy right here, uh, will be performing virtually via some videos that we sent them. So go check them out. Be sure to bid up on their auction, buy some jams and jellies. Enjoy your time. Okay. Can finish it up. Great job, everybody. Until next week. Ahui ho.